People who want to get rich fall into temptation and a trap and into many foolish and harmful desires that plunge men into ruin and destruction. And I want to talk about money and I want to talk about materialism and how it can be a massive trap. It says that people are eager to, to get money fall into a trap. And I want to talk about the trap of being in a job and still doing the same job over and over again and not enjoying the job, but just to earn money to continue to do a job. And I want to talk about the trap where a lot of people live in a trap where they go out on a weekend and spend all their money on a, that they earn on a weekend on a, a night out on a Friday or Saturday night. I want to talk about the trap where you get so trapped to buy and design and clothes and you buy different things that you trap, constantly trying to get more and more and more materialistic things. I want to talk about that kind of trap and I want to talk about money and how it can be very dangerous and unfortunately you can get into this trap of thinking that happiness comes from materialistic things and that can be a trap, a trap and you're trapped in your own mind and trapped in this way of living and I want to talk about a different way of living where you don't have to live according to the ways of the world. Now it says in Luke 12 verse 15 that life does not consist of the abundance of your possessions and I want to really talk about those kind of things because it says in 1 Timothy chapter 6 that we come to the world with nothing uh, and we get, and we can take nothing out of it and I want to talk about being content with what we do have and instead of uh, constantly worrying about materialistic things and money we can try and learn to be content with what we do have and not be obsessed with money and be in this trap and I want to share a verse from Colossians chapter 2 verse 8 it says see to it that no one takes you captive through hollow and deceptive philosophy which depends on human tradition and the basic principles of the world rather than on Christ and I want to talk about how materialistic living and living by money and being obsessed with money is all from the basics of the world and it's foolishness and that's where we don't want to be taken captive in uh, the philosophy of getting more things for ourselves for happiness and I feel like that's the problem the world puts happiness and values happiness in the western world um of money and happiness and that's where you put your hope and that gives you more happiness money and materialistic things equals happiness the more you have the happy you'll be but unfortunately i want to share that a reason that it's only temporary happiness and the thing is that someone can always break in and steal or take away your riches and your treasures that are in this world and i feel it's really important that we don't store up riches and treasures on this world it says in matthew 6 19 to 20 says do not store up free shells treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal and that's the thing that we can always have all these earthly treasures and riches but they can be destroyed at any minute through a natural disaster i met a woman in india from new zealand that a whole house was destroyed after there was an earthquake in christchurch and it was like that you know possessions can go in a minute or you know people can steal break into your bank and steal your money or you can break into your house and steal those things and your life does not consist of the abundance of those possessions and instead it says we should store up for ourselves treasures in heaven where moth and rust cannot break and steal and that's where we really treasure will always be and we won't have to worry about those kind of things but you, if you always uh, trying to fill your life with money and, and those kind of things you'll never really feel fully satisfied you never have enough because you can always have more money you can always have more things you can always have a bigger house a bigger car so for that reason you're never going to satisfy fully because you can always get more and until you have more of everything you're not going to have enough and that's going to keep you feeling happy inside so you have to put a hope in something that is the same yesterday today and forever and it says that in hebrews it says that jesus christ is the same yesterday today and forever we must put a hope in him and not in the basic ways of the world because here's the thing inflation will change stock market will change the new iphone will change uh, the new ipad will change materialistic things will only satisfy for a short period of time and unfortunately you can't take money houses and cars with you when you die and these things that it's only temporary happiness there's no depth there's nothing that'll last a long time which if you pursue those things you're never going to feel fully happy and i feel like we should try and gain things where it, you can you can't money can't buy these kind of things like pursuing experiences relationships love happiness joy peace patience gentleness faithfulness kindness self-control those things where money can't buy we should try and develop those things instead of storing up for ourselves treasures and earthly treasures instead and the bible says in luke chapter 12 verse 33 it says sell your possessions and give to the poor provide purses for yourself that will not wear out a treasure in heaven that will not be exhausted where no thief comes near and no moth destroys so that's where the bible says we should sell our possessions and i feel like we get more happiness when we give instead of getting there's more joy in giving than receiving and that's what we should try and look at but i feel like there's a, a hole in everyone's in everyone's soul and i believe what we're trying to fill this heart shaped hole with triangular money with square cars with hexagonal uh, houses we're trying to fill this 
a gap in our soul with the wrong things. And I feel like we should try and uh, fill the heart-shaped hole with the love of God, having a relationship with God. It says that those who hunger and thirst for righteousness will be filled in Matthew 5 verse 6. So anything from the world will not satisfy. And we chase after those things and materialistic things and money. Unfortunately, we'll never be satisfied. It's only the f- seeking righteousness and seeking first the kingdom which and uh, will satisfy us, unfortunately. So we need to sh- shift our focus from ourselves and our things from the world to focus on a relationship with Jesus Christ. And one of the most misquoted verses in the Bible about money is 1 Timothy 6 verse 10. It says, For the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. Some people eager for money have wandered from their faith and pierced themselves with many griefs. And it says it's, it's the love of money that is the root of all evils. Not money. It's the love of money. And that's the thing I want to raise in this video is that money, it's, we need it to survive. And money itself isn't bad. But it's when it's the love of money it's the problem. When you become obsessed with it, when you become obsessed with checking your bank all the time, when you become obsessed with trying to get more money and live a payday, that's when it becomes the problem when you start to love money so we need to uh, to realize that money the love of money is the initial problem and it says that we can't serve two masters in the bible it says that we can in matthew 6 verse 24 it says you cannot serve two masters you cannot serve both god and money so we need to realize that we serve in god or we serve in money and when you we're constantly living for money and trying to get more money we're unfortunately living for the world and not living for god and we're serving the wrong master so we need to remember that we can't serve two masters and not get obsessed with money but ultimately, we need to stop following the world's logic, which is foolishness. This idea of this materialistic world that we live in to try and get more things, to try and gain happiness. Now, I feel like it's just like the blind leading the blind, and we're all looking at money and materialistic things. But unfortunately, that path is leading the wide path, which leads to destruction, destruction, and it doesn't lead to eternal life. We need, it says in the Bible that it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to inherit the kingdom of God. It says in James 2 verse 5, that is not the kingdom of God for the poor and for those that love God. So we need to look and think... If we're rich in the eyes of the world, it's going to be so difficult for us to inherit the kingdom of God. And that's why it says we should shift our focus on selling our possessions and, and making sure that we don't live out the, the abundance of our possessions as putting our faith and hope in those things. So we need to fo- follow the upside down kingdom, have a kingdom perspective where it is better to give than re- to receive, to uh, go- not store up your treasures on this earth where moth and rust break in and steal. And we need to try and uh, try and pursue things with a crown that lasts forever, not just in this world, but the life to come. And it says that, uh, godliness is something that we should try and pursue godliness holiness righteousness are the things that we should try and pursue rather than gaining more money and materialistic things and if we do those things it says that uh, in 1 timothy 4 verse 7 to 8 it says that that those things are hold uh, for the, this life and also for the life to come so we should try and pursue those things and not money and materialistic things instead we need to understand that money can be used for good things but we need to stop conforming to the ways of the world you know i think when it comes to happiness i feel like we, we can be happier when we go and make other people happy and treat others like we want to be treated ourselves if we do those kind of things we'll find happiness in as i said before the things that money can't buy instead of trying to buy things that money can buy we need to stop worshiping created things like uh, materialistic things and start worshiping the creator and we should offer our life as a living sacrifice so we can be used as an instrument for God and I feel like we need to remember to keep our lives free from the love of money and be content with what we have like Hebrews 13 verse 5 says because it says that God will never leave us nor forsake us we need to remember those things remember those verses remember need to remember that we can get true riches that are in Jesus Christ not in the riches of the world which are nothing it's foolish and it's empty there's nothing in the world it's garbage the world has nothing to offer unfortunately but we are in the world and we should be in the world reflecting the glory of God we should be trying to advance the kingdom of God and trying not to conform to the ways of the world and trying to pursue things that last forever. So I pray that we will not conform to the ways of the world. I pray that we will not fall in the trap of the love of money. I pray that we'll satisfy our whole and our soul with the love of God and a relationship with God and a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that we won't put our hope in materialistic things and treasures on this earth where moth and rust destroy, but we can put our hope on Jesus Christ, which is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And I pray that we won't have the love of money, which is the root of all evil, and we won't become obsessed with it. We won't follow the world's logic, and instead we'll have a kingdom perspective, and we'll look at giving away our possessions and trying to make other people happy and, and trying to pursue godliness, righteousness, and holiness at last not just for this life but for the life to come and also i pray that we'll realize that we can uh, invest in things where money can't buy experiences relationship and the fruit of the spirit which can come from uh, no money can buy those things but will satisfy us and sustain us for a long period of time so i hope that helped about money and materialistic uh, ways and mentality of the world and hopefully the word of god helps shed some light on our lives so we can live our life for the glory of god in this world